Hey everybody, we're gonna be looking at how you can record from your keyboard into Synthesizer V, all while being hosted as an audio unit plugin inside Logic Pro. If you're interested in more content like this, obviously subscribe and hit the notification bell. We do have a membership program for extra bonus streams. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one lessons, of course, all the links are below. Let's jump right into this. I have just this uh, eight bar loop, nothing fancy. I just threw this together for this so you can get an, an idea. I'll play that for one second. So we're gonna add a vocal on top of that. And I've got the Synthesizer V loaded up right here, just as the default. Nothing out of the ordinary with this at all. Um, we are literally just going to be using the MIDI input, which comes by loading this on an instrument track. Right? So that's the sound of the Synthesizer V with no voice loaded. You can't really perform a voice live because you have to associate words with it. And so we just do that with that sound first, and then we add the words after the fact. Okay, so the only other thing I have on this would be a compressor just to help it stick above the rest of that arrangement. Okay, and then I'm gonna let this loop one time. If you record into this, and it's looping, it'll just add those MIDI notes on top and it'll make it so nothing will play. Uh, and so we do wanna do this kind of in one pass or add a new track inside Synthesizer V, uh, but we're just gonna do this with the basic default track. Okay, the transport sometimes comes and goes, this little transport here. And so I've gotten the habit of pushing the numpad, the number pad uh, asterisk for record. And so I'll let it play through one time. And then right before we get to the looping point, I will engage the transport inside the synthesizer V plugin by hitting the, the asterisk on the number pad. Uh, and then I can play. I'm just gonna do a real simple melody. Kind of over and over. Okay, so you wanna make sure you engage the overall transport, just play. You don't need to record in Logic. We're gonna record using the transport that's simultaneously working inside the plugin. That's it. So it recorded using all the defaults. I can quantize if I want to. I'm just gonna click okay on that. Uh, and then I can come through and choose what lyrics we want. So you can see it has like a default vibrato for each of these. And it's just la 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 la. Uh, if you hold the command key down and use the scroll wheel, you can zoom left or in and out on a horizontal. Uh, so I'm gonna select all of these real quick. I don't have any words selected, but we're going to just type some in. So you can see these are all of the laws and we can type them in all at once. We have one, two, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we can do this as individual or we can type them in all at once or I think copy and paste. And so let's do this. I'm just gonna type in some words that rhyme. If I did nothing. We're gonna split that into two. You have to split them out like that. If we were fine, I know that you would Let's see what else we have here. See that I'm 
mine. Ha, we're gonna do something progressive like that. There we go. Just typed them all in. Uh, let's choose a voice. Uh, we'll do Kevin right now. And let it synthesize that out. Again, this is just the default. We may change our octaves. We may change the words, but right now we're just using the default. If I did nothing, if we were fine, I know that you would see that I'm mine. If I did nothing. If and now we can come in if we want to make some changes and actually draw some of these changes in. I'm going to switch to the pencil mode. Uh, and to the vibrato mode so I can smooth some of those out. It's like those are really intense right there. We can make them totally flat if we want. Uh, we can draw in a similar thing or we can use some of the other editing tools that we have. If I did nothing if we were fine, I know. Uh, it's like some of these are just pretty far out there. I don't know. Let's see. Do, do. I don't know. If, yeah, there's the transition. Transition right. We don't have anything. So let's draw some of that. I just. It gets so intense. You can draw like this. You're going to hear that that gets sometimes a little warbly. There. I didn't. Let's let it actually synthesize out. If I did nothing, if we were fine, I know. And so we can come through. I still think I need to probably edit more for this style. I don't want quite as a thick of vibrato going out of there. Every once in a while, I like that it, it hits. And then we have some vibrato. But the truth is, is that that adds some realism to it. But if it's on every note, it's going to sound more like a show tune. If I did nothing, if we were fine. And then, of course, we can come through and change a few of the other components here. Like we have tension happening right now. And uh, so we can come through and actually use that to our advantage. Ramp up the tension on some of these notes. Uh, it's like an intensity knob. If I did nothing, if we were... F Which makes it sound more like a voice, because the intensity, the timbre, the overall pressure that we're singing with is never staying exactly stagnant. So we get to actually do some stuff to make that more human. If I did nothing, if we were fine. So let's do that with the fine as well. But maybe take it up and then have it drop down. I want to see what that sounds like. Let it synthesize. Here we go. If I did nothing, if we were fine, I know that you would see that. So I know that you would is still transitioning a little weird. Let's switch back over to our multi-select with the arrow. And I'm going to do you, would, and one. And then for the would, we just switch that to a plus. And sometimes we get better results with this. So let's try that. Let it synthesize out. It takes a second. We see the little glowing thing over the notes. If I did nothing, if we were fine, I know that you would see that. 
and that's fine, except, man, that weird vibrato happening with that. Let's see if we can't smooth that out just a little bit. Let that be more of a straight tone. If I did nothing, if we were fine, I know that you would see that I'm mine. If so now I think straightening it out did good, but now there's a little bit of a weird transition there um, that's not gonna be much better but let's actually give it a teeny bit of space and then I think this is where we'll oh it added redid the whole thing hmm every once in a while I get totally surprised by what this thing is doing if I did nothing if we were fine, I know that you would see that I'm mine. If then we need like a different chord structure, we need to do the rest of the song. But this thing, this thing is cool. What that, I mean, that's so easy to get to where we did. It takes a little time to get familiar with the tools and know which ones to grab at which time. But the whole point of this video was more about recording the MIDI in and then a little look at what we do next. But I mean, that was so easy. What an awesome tool. Okay, that's it. Hope you're enjoying this new little bit of a series of videos we're doing on Synthesizer V. I just am super into this tool right now and looking at how I might be able to use it in my workflow. So let me know in the comments what you're thinking, if this is useful, if you're enjoying this. Otherwise, um, don't. I'll talk to you later.